what's left of a Turkish military vehicle, the latest attack by Kurdish separatists, the PKK. The bomb killed two and wounded four in a growing wave of attacks. A dangerous triangle has opened up here between Turkey, the PKK and so-called Islamic State, all seemingly fighting each other. Now Turkey has called a meeting of NATO ambassadors on Tuesday to discuss the threat posed by both IS and the PKK. Talking to the BBC, NATO's Secretary General encouraged a return to the recent peace process with the Kurdish separatists. We are uh, helping them, supporting them in their efforts to fight terrorism, but of course self-defence has to be proportionate. So how did we get to this point? It comes after a violent few days, with claims and counterclaims. Last Monday, 32 people were killed by a suicide bomb in Kurdish-majority Suruç in southern Turkey. Turkey blamed Islamic State, but the Kurds claim the Turkish government has collaborated with the jihadist group. Two days later, the Kurdish PKK killed two Turkish policemen in retaliation for the Suruç attack. Then, over the weekend, Turkey launched airstrikes against both IS and PKK positions, as well as arresting hundreds of their suspected members. Peace rallies were held today amid fears that Turkey's ceasefire with the PKK could be over and that it's sliding back towards armed conflict with the Kurds. 40,000 were killed in the three decades long insurgency. The wounds are still raw. The government's t trying to do, it's starting a war between Kurd Kurdish people and Turkish people again, like a civil war again, but we, we don't want to have a war again, and this country suffered enough of this war, and we, don't, we won't let it. Their message to all sides is to stop a return to violence, to pull Turkey back from the brink, because if this country is embroiled in its own civil conflict, it would complicate immeasurably the role it can play against IS and therefore the entire coalition strategy against the jihadists. Elsewhere, the protests were more violent as Kurds hit out against the Turkish government. This is a critical moment for the fight against Islamic State and for the stability of Turkey itself. Mark Lowen, BBC News, Istanbul.